Disneyland is where people come to escape reality, and Luan Dawson, a hardworking engineer and loving husband, was no different. He dreamt of a perfect day at Disneyland, a plan long in the making. Yet, as fate would have it, the most magical place on earth would become the backdrop of a tragic story when he got struck by a metal cleat that tore loose from the sailing ship Columbia Ride. Why did this happen? And how could a joyful day take such a dark turn? This is the unfortunate tale of Luan Dawson, who came to celebrate life, only to be snatched away by the cold hands of death at Disneyland. Luan Fai Dawson was not just any engineer, he was a senior testing engineer at Microsoft, one of the biggest tech companies in the world. Every day Luan would put his skills to the test, ensuring that the software millions of people used was just right. Born in the beautiful coastal city of Nha Trang, Vietnam, Luan's journey was one of hope and determination. He left behind his homeland and brick by brick built a life of promise and dreams in the U.S. But work was just one part of Luan's life. At home, he was a devoted husband and a playful father. Those little moments, the bedtime stories, the shared meals, the laughter and the love, painted a picture of a man deeply connected to his family. Disneyland is often dubbed the happiest place on earth, where magic springs to life and dreams are not just dreams anymore. Every corner sparkles with joy and laughter, and every moment is designed to steal a heart. Born from the imagination of Walt Disney in 1955, this park has been a beacon of wonder for generations, a place where fairy tales breathe and adventures await around every bend. And it's no wonder families like Luan's from every corner of the world circle the dates on their calendars. A trip to Disneyland is not just a vacation, it's a pilgrimage to a land of wonder and memories. With its iconic castle, thrilling rides, and timeless tales, this enchanted realm has been the destination for decades for families seeking a sprinkle of magic in their lives. For Luan and his loved ones, this trip was meant to be the crown jewel of their shared moments. Among the many wonders of Disneyland, the Columbia Ride stands tall. A true replica of an 18th century tall ship, it is a testament to the art of shipbuilding and a nod to history. Since its maiden voyage in 1955, the Columbia has sailed the waters, offering visitors a slice of maritime history. With its wooden decks, masts reaching the skies, and intricately designed captain's quarters, the ship offers a journey back in time. Among the thrilling roller coasters and spellbinding attractions, the Columbia Ride was known as one of the park's tamest, a gentle sail that young and old families chose for a moment of calm amidst the day's excitement. The Luan family was no exception to being a partaker of this ride, on Christmas Eve 1998, excitement buzzed in the air as families lined up, waiting for their turn on the grand ship that was the Columbia. Among them were the Dawson family, Luan, Lu, and their children, whose faces lit up with eager anticipation. For the Dawson family, it felt like the world had draped a blanket of promise and excitement just for them. They stood in line close to the boarding point of the Columbia, their faces aglow with anticipation. Once on board, the family took a moment to soak it all in. Luan and Lu exchanged a knowing look, a silent acknowledgement of a memory in the making. The children raced from one end to another, peeking through portholes, admiring the craftsmanship and the voyage's thrill, evident in their gleeful shouts. Amidst the joy, not a soul on board could predict the turn their journey was about to take. As the ship prepared to dock, an uneasy tension gripped the air. The Columbia, normally graceful in its movements, seemed rushed, its pace slightly off. The waters around it responded with unease, their ripples reflecting the ship's turmoil. Suddenly there was a sound, a terrible jarring noise that tore through the merry atmosphere. The ship's cleat, strained beyond its limits, snapped with ferocious force. The world seemed to move in slow motion. The hefty metal piece, now unhinged, moved with great speed. The cleat found its mark, striking Luan with brutal precision. Gasps filled the air, followed by horrified screams. Panic ensued. People rushed to help, their faces painted with shock and disbelief. The once serene deck of the Columbia was now a scene of chaos. Lu, her face white with terror, rushed to Luan's side, cradling his head. Their children, tears streaming down their faces, clung to each other, unable to fathom the nightmare unfolding before them. Lou forgot that she was also caught in the accident with injuries to her face. A journey that began with promise and laughter had taken a devastating detour, changing the Dawson family's life forever. 
The entire family was rushed to the hospital for treatment in no time. Luan battled for his life with monitors that beeped by his sides. Lu, on her own, was being treated for her facial injuries, which would require several surgeries later. The weight of the event bore heavily upon her. Her face, now marred by a web of stitches and bandages, bore witness to the tragedy, even as her heart wept silent tears for life rapidly slipping away from her grasp. Their children, unable to fully comprehend the magnitude of what had transpired, found solace in each other. A suffocating cloud of fear and uncertainty had now stifled their once vibrant, free laughter. Two days after admission at the University of California at Irvine Medical Center, Luan was declared brain dead and removed from the respirator. He was dead from a severe skull fracture and hemorrhaging in the brain, while his wife, Lu, continued to fight for her life in the hospital. As the dust began to settle and the heart-wrenching cries dimmed into hushed whispers, questions emerged from the shadows of the tragedy, demanding answers. Almost immediately, authorities descended upon Disneyland, seeking answers from its employees. The park's usually gleeful atmosphere was intensely scrutinized as investigators sought to unravel the mystery of the devastating accident on the Columbia. How could a ride deemed one of the park's tamest result in such horror? Yet a glaring issue arose. The initial response to the accident was sluggish. The delayed arrival of investigators, the Anaheim detectives at the scene, was met with criticism. Valuable hours had lapsed, and critics argued that this delay might have compromised the integrity of the evidence. Anaheim detectives' approach to handling the situation came under the microscope. While they maintained that their response was timely and adequate, their version contrasted with the opinions of other police departments. As interrogations deepened, employees began to reveal disturbing insights. Whispers emerged about potential lapses in maintaining attractions, hinting at an underbelly of neglect. Some employees courageously stepped forward, revealing previous issues with rides that had been conveniently swept under the carpet. Concerns over safety standards, which should have been paramount, were sidestepped in favor of other priorities. State investigators took the helm, sifting through each layer of the incident with meticulous precision. Their primary focus zoomed in on the condition of the Columbia itself. Was this majestic replica of an 18th century tall ship which had sailed without incident since 1955, now showing its age, the revelations were damning. Disneyland, a sanctuary of dreams for countless families, was suddenly painted in the light of negligence and oversight. For the Dawson family and countless others, it was a grim reminder that even in the most magical places, tragedy could strike without warning. As the shock waves of Luan Dawson's tragic demise reverberated across the country, the public's demand for accountability grew louder. Disneyland, an emblem of joy and wonder for millions, faced a daunting shadow of blame and scrutiny. For the Dawson family, it wasn't just about justice, but also ensuring that no other family would suffer the same devastating fate. The wrongful death lawsuit against Disneyland was soon initiated. A strong legal team defending the grieving family worked to draw attention to the flagrant safety violations and carelessness that caused the horrific accident. The courtroom discussions primarily centered on Disneyland's responsibility for the tragic events of that fateful day. There were testimonies from expert witnesses, the park's internal investigation from the state, and also testimonies from the workers. As the trial progressed, speculation about potential compensation began to emerge. While no amount could ever truly compensate for the loss of a loved one, the discussions in the courtroom shifted toward the financial reparation that Disneyland might have to offer. The final days of the trial were charged with anticipation. Would Disneyland be held fully accountable? Would the Dawsons find the justice they so desperately sought? Then came the announcement. Both parties had settled. As is often the case in high-profile litigation, the exact details remained undisclosed. The whispers outside the courtroom suggested a significant compensation, but the real figures remained locked away, known only to a select few. While heartbreaking, the tragedy of Luan Dawson served as a potent wake-up call. In its aftermath, the very industry that thrived on creating joy and wonder had to confront its shortcomings head-on. Disneyland and amusement parks worldwide embarked on a journey to ensure that their realms of magic were also havens of safety. In the aftermath of the tragedy, Disneyland thoroughly reviewed its ride procedures, 
Every detail was reassessed, from the materials used to the daily checks. Rides with the slightest hint of wear or damage were temporarily closed for inspection and necessary repairs. Disneyland later made several changes in how it operates rides, adopting bell signals and changing docking procedures on the Columbia, reviewing and updating all its ride procedures, and bringing back lead ride operators on most rides, an experienced position phased out on many attractions. Luan Fai Dawson's tragic end reminds us of life's fleeting nature and the profound impact one moment can have. It emphasizes that safety is still important despite the magic and wonder of places like Disneyland, underscoring their responsibility. For the Dawson family, the memories remain, a blend of cherished moments and heartbreaking loss. As we reflect on Luan's story, let's honor his memory by championing the cause of safety in every walk of life and may such tragedies pave the way for a safer tomorrow for all. Please share your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned for more videos that shed light on tragic narratives.